A tuple in Python is basically a list that's immutable, which means that its elements cannot be changed by functions that operate on the tuple. Tuples have similar sequence type functions to lists such as len to get the length, and tuples are created with a comma separated list of values surrounded by parentheses rather than square brackets like we created lists with. Lists are actually a lot more common than using tuples, and you only really want to use tuples if you want to make sure that the values won't change. For example, if you wanted to store the coordinates of Disneyland, and you know those values are never going to change, you probably would use a tuple. But if you wanted to store all your friends, you would want to use a list, not a tuple, because if you decided you don't want to be friends with a certain somebody, then you can't remove them from that tuple anymore. You're friends with them for life. Also, the element position is important in a tuple. So if the Disney in the Disneyland coordinates, we know that the first element is latitude and the second element is longitude. There's also a named tuple, which creates a new data type with some named attributes, and it does not create a new object, just a new simple data type. For example, a person named tuple with fields like person.name, person.age would better represent a person object than using a list. In the person named tuple, name and age are the named attributes. Named tuples, just like regular tuples, are also immutable, so keep that in mind. Let's try creating some tuples in Python. So let's first create a tuple called Disneyland chords for coordinates and we'll assign that to, I'm looking this up on my phone, 33.81 comma 117.92 and we can print out the Disneyland coordinates. There it is. And Notice that we can't change any of these coordinates. We can't say Disneyland chords at index zero is 45.22. Now we try to print it out again. Oh, you get an error. Tuple object does not support item assignment. So that proves that tuples are immutable we could also print out the length of the tuple. Just wrap the Disneyland chords with the length function. Tells you there's two items in there. Okay, so that's a tuple. Let's create a named tuple next. So let's delete all this. And in order to create a named tuple, you need a statement at the top of your program, which is from collections import named tuple. Okay, so you only need to do this for named tuples, not regular tuples. And this is how you create a named tuple. You will say person and assign that to named tuple. Actually, you know what? When you start typing named tuple, it shows you what you're supposed to do. The type name and then the field names and so on. So it's named tuple person. It's the type name then the attributes are going to be name, age, weight. Right? Just like that. That's how you create a named tuple called person. And let's create a person now that we have a named tuple called person. Bob is a person with his name is Bob. Bob sounds like he's 45 years old and he weighs 223.5 pounds. Right? There's our person, Bob. Let's create one more person. Let's create Bob's girlfriend. Her name is Maria. Maria is also a person. Her name is Maria. She's a little bit younger. Bob likes him young. She's 28. And Maria weighs 567.45 pounds. Yet yeah, He met her on Tinder. And... Now we have two person objects, Bob and Maria, created using named tuples. Let's print out each one. Let's print Bob, and we'll print Maria. And there's all their data. Cool thing about tuples is that you can access their fields using dot notation. Check this out. Print Bob dot name. 
is in love with Maria dot print her name and run that program and Bob is in love with Maria so we didn't need this little space right here it does it automatically and we could have also done it this way print Bob at index zero which should give you his first name is in love with Maria at index zero should also give you her first name and that does the exact same thing so there's two ways to access the elements and to get the second element obviously and she's only Maria dot age you can do it that way she's only 28 or Maria index one because the second element was the age that works too need the space there my bad all right cool so yeah that's it for name tuples and regular tuples thanks for watching the video see you next time